welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to basingstokesalvationarmy.sermon.net forward slash battle underscore drill underscore daily underscore devotionals. Hello, and welcome to Battle Drill for this week. This week we focus on how to deal with stress through the eyes of Jesus Christ. Stress is a major problem in our society. Globalisation, the 24-7 nature of information and communication technology, just the sheer speed of change and a greater sense of competition all compound feelings of stress. Jesus was fully divine but he was also fully human, and so he faced periods of stress in his own life. How did he he deal with it, and how might that help us today? The passage we're focusing on this week is John chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. I'm going to read it today from the New International Version. Jesus comforts his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? even after I have been among you such a long time. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Amen. The world will try to tell you the kind of person to be. Subtle messages all around us tell us what we should look like, what we should eat, how we should dress, the kind of attitudes we should display. Even well-meaning people like our parents, our spouse, our friends and our co-workers have pretty firm ideas about who we should be. The problem is that allowing other people to shape us into the person they think we should be often leads to stress. Different people have different ideas of our identity and those ideas might be different from the world's ideal too. Jesus dealt with this stress by being firm on who he was. A number of times throughout his ministry, Jesus taught his disciples by declaring, I am. Jesus knew exactly who he was. Why? Because he was sure of the identity that God had given him. In the same way, we can reduce stress by taking the identity God gave us and doing our best to be who God created us to be, not what other people think we should be. We don't need to find our identity in anyone else. As you reflect on that today, think about this question. In what ways do people try to force you to be the person they think you should be? And I'll see you again soon for another Battle Drill. We 
hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you.